Hi guys, Umut here. Today I'm going for another type of video and I'm going to try to answer a question that I get very often from you. So I thought I make a video and answer it uh, for once and all and I will try to help you with it. Uh, a lot of you ask me which art journal do I use, why I use it, uh, if I like it or not. So I wanted to show you uh, oh, some options. Uh, pros and cons, uh, why I like them, why I don't like them, uh, which parts I like, which parts I don't like. Obviously, this is only my experience and my thoughts about them. Some people like some things, the others don't. So take it with that pinch of salt uh, that these are only my opinions, but I will try to give my reasons. As you see, I'm <laughs> sitting here with a pile of uh, journals, uh, different ones. When I was going through this journey, obviously, like you, I tried a lot of things and tried to find out what I like. So I will put this uh, pile on the side and go through them one by one, uh, telling you which ones are for what. It will be a little bit difficult, but I am sure we will manage. First of all, I will start with the ones that are my favorites so this is my moleskin journals this is moleskin sketchbook not the normal notebooks because the sketchbooks have thicker pages you can see here i hope you can uh, see the difference and it has a leather cover and it's a uh, it's this size, it's not an A4. I confuse the measurements all the time, so I'm trying not to say it, uh, but it's not as big as the, this one, one smaller. Um, I like it because it takes paint really well, it has thick pages, and when I was using it, actually, I was even sticking two pages together to make it even thicker. Well, and it, it opens quite well, which I like as well. However, there are two things that uh, I don't like about it. One is uh, when it, it gets bulky very quickly. Uh, as you see here, I think I have only, it has 80 pages in total and I used only 12, uh, if I'm not wrong, 12, 13 at most. Because uh, obviously it's me, I like to create a lot of dimension and it gets like this. <laughs> quite soon the spine expands then I can only create 12-13 uh, pages uh, the downside of this is it's very expensive it's here it's like 14 pounds which is quite a lot of money for a notebook uh, that's why I actually tried to find an alternative for it otherwise I really like it uh, I don't have a problem with it. I could even use one page for uh, one project and not sticking two of them. And when you gesso it, it makes it stronger anyway. But as you see, I create a lot of dimension. And if you're not that kind, see all the letters are raised, this works just fine. Everything, look, I have dimension, dimension. So it becomes difficult. Uh, if you want to see any of my pages, by the way, they are all on video. I, I have a playlist called Art Journals on my channel. If you click on it, you will see all of these. All of them are on video as tutorials. So leaving my beloved uh, Moleskin aside, this is another favorite of mine, Dilusions. Uh, most of you should know it again it has mixed media pages very thick actually these are thicker than the Moleskine for sure and I don't stick two pages together with this for sure I use them one and if I just saw it it makes it uh, strong stronger anyway look it's like cut stop it's very strong again it becomes uh, like this because of my <laughs> dimensional pages Again, all of these are on video and uh, I can only do 12, 13 journals, pages on this. 
Uh, it's not uh, any cheaper than Moleskin. I think it's even a bit more expensive. It has a hard cover and everything. Um, so that's why again uh, I looked for an alternative. Other thing I don't like so much about this is this doesn't open as well as Moleskin for me. I don't know. This is my experience. Um, the opening of two when I consider I find this laying flatter like this when I open it after creating a project better than this however the pages are thicker here better mixed media pages another tip that I got from Didi Willingham if you know her I don't know she has a YouTube channel super nice projects I love her I will uh, put her link down below for you to check out if you want. She has, uh, she does mixed media pages and she said if you work on your notebooks, one page here, one page after, one page in the middle, balance it, the spine reacts better. I didn't know it until now, so I'm going to try it in my next uh, art journal. When I uh, store these, I am not closing this because it makes it makes a pressure on my notebook and uh, that's why this I don't use actually the same with this I'm not using it so I told you I was looking for an alternative a cheaper one uh, so that I don't pay 15 14 16 pounds every time I buy I uh, saw this in my local store it's uh, an A5 sketchbook so this size apparently is A5 uh, and I was quite happy with it actually pages are still thicker than normal notebook I think they are thinner a bit thinner than the Moleskine they are white very white compared to Moleskine is off-white more, more creamish as well as dilutions but doesn't matter because I cover them with uh, paint anyway again all of these projects are on YouTube as well as my flip throughs so the uh, art journals I finished I also have flip throughs for you to see, find out what's interesting for you and go watch it maybe. Um, so I created, I think, the same amount of journal uh, pages. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, yeah, 12, 13, yes. I created the same amount of pages as my dilutions and my moleskin. Uh, and I sticked two pages together when I was using this uh, notebook for sure. This was for me a bit thin. So this was five pounds uh, from my local store. So compared to Moleskin, it's one third of the price. Considering I can do same amount of pages, it was quite good. Uh, I was uh, happy with this. Obviously, Moleskin has a leather, it's a Moleskin eventually, uh, it's nice, uh, but uh, I can buy three of these uh, and do much more pages with the money I uh, spend on a Moleskin. Doesn't mean I will stop using Moleskin, but uh, it's good to have other options. By the way, I want to show you a Moleskin that is not used, so you see maybe the opening how it opens so you see it lies very flat for me without any problems anywhere this i didn't use yet i bought it a while ago anywhere i open it for me it's very comfortable to work on it yeah so coming to another option this is even cheaper I think I uh, sticked pages. Um, this is one pound. It's not uh, leather or hardback, anything. And it has less pages definitely than any other one of them. But the price is one pound, so I can buy four of these instead of this, actually. And the pages, this is a sketchbook as well. It's not a normal notebook we are not uh, moving to the normal notebook uh, territory still thick yeah it's uh, definitely thinner than most human dilutions anything is thinner than dilutions anyway and 
I created some pages. This is the one I'm using currently. Uh, it's working well. I will definitely create less projects here uh, because it has less pages and I'm sticking two pages together. Uh, even I'm leaving uh, a gap between two pages when I do journals, so it makes it less and less. But considering the price point, it's not bad. One pound. One thing I don't like about this, guys, is when I create a page, the pages curl up like this. So it, it makes when I put the paint, now I uh, straightened it, uh, I put them like this so it doesn't show. But when you first apply paint and I finish a page, oh, the pages are like this. This is what I don't like actually. So probably uh, this will be a, a journal that I will be using less. Uh, I will still buy it and do pages on it. Maybe it will be my exploration, trials journal that I'm not doing videos. Uh, but all in all for one pound it's quite good value. Um, coming to other options. I will show you other sizes actually what is available just to give you a little bit more idea this is dilutions in a4 format big format um, it's uh, again very thick pages very good quality I will tell you how I use this this is actually my first ever art journal <laughs> you can make some sneak peeks uh, on some pages that doesn't look like what I am doing now at all. I was just trying, trying to learn. However, I will show you um, why I use this from time to time. There must be a page. Yes. So, when I want to create a page. Maybe, oh, sorry. When I want to create a page like this flat I don't want the spine in it like the crease of the book here there was a texture paste with a stencil that needs to lie flat I use this notebook with this uh, like this uh, with this layout horizontal layout uh, because if I use normal notebook trying to create this page this texture paste will come in the middle and it won't look as nice as this for example when I want to stick an image in the middle as well with a cardstock also it will be difficult to close it so I would create it in this journal when I want to have a layout like this so I will keep using this with this intention and with these kind of layouts that's another idea I want to give you if you complain about the spines coming in between you can buy something like this and use it in this format otherwise for me the pages are so big if I want to create a layout covering all this I think that's not my size I tried it and I find it difficult <laughs> to fill it I use it as more play journal I spray I don't know I mix some colors and try to see which ones I like which combinations here, for example, I took a note of the colors I used. You can also do such things to, you know, develop yourself, uh, try out some ideas. Uh, bigger space makes it easier, I think. So, moving on. Some people also like journals with spirals. In that case, I would really recommend this Strathmore Visual Journal. It's for mixed media, anyway. So, the pages are really thick, really nice. I really love it. I... Uh, this is nothing, I was trying. Um, again, I would use it with the same mindset. I just don't use it because I'm going to finish the dilutions. But I would use it with that sort of layout. And then maybe if you want it, you can also pair it easily. Cut it here, make it uh, like this. I don't know, frame it, put somewhere, use as decoration. So I think this has that practicality coming from this spiral that you can remove the pages or use it like this. 
in a horizontal layout so that there is no crease in between so you can work easily definitely it's easier to work but I don't know why I like this sort of layout uh, this book makes me most comfortable it's a feeling that I cannot express but I like this opening, I like the crease and everything. In some cases, I turn to these type of books. It's very personal, so it's hard to recommend something. That's why I'm trying to weigh pros and cons objectively. Another format that you can use is this. Um, there are a lot of ad advantages to this. Um, and I use it in a a conceptual way this is completely again my choice but I am giving ideas uh, this is a chipboard type of uh, journal I will put the links down below of all the things that I can find probably I can find this uh, so you'll see the link down below it's chipboard pages they are not pages they are really really thick you can see here um, and for example I said in the past okay I want to have flowers 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 I will do something and then it will be my little flower journal so I did this I don't know this all flower flowers different type of things again just exploration dimensional you can give a lot of dimension and it will be all okay they won't go flat um it's very easy to use so for me the advantage of this is definitely dimension and i love uh, giving dimension so maybe i can go back to this at some point to make a concept and uh, work on them but i really like this i don't use it daily like very often uh, but i think it's a very good option I will show you another one as well. This is a smaller one. I use this to make Halloween concept. These are on video. They are on YouTube uh, on my channel. So I made this a uh, Halloween little book booklet and it was all Halloween type of concepts. You see it's all dimensional. These are all raised. No problems. All my cats, candies, everything is dimensional and chipboards I can use. I want to use chipboards for example on my pages and I cannot use more than a couple small ones uh, because they create a lot of bulk and eventually it gets out of control. So for those things these are really good. Another option is traveler's notebooks as they call it in the world of crafting generally planners use this but these days uh, art journals use it as well this size is a standard size traveler's notebook that's how you can find it this cover i bought from etsy so i didn't buy this with these papers in it i just bought the cover i will put the link down below which shop i got it there are lots of shops in every country don't worry if you're in the us you will find lots of nice shops if you're in the UK, I will put uh, the shop from UK anyway, where I live. So after I bought this, I did the inserts myself, but you, you can find inserts on internet as well. And these are scrap papers, literally. I cut them, I measured the measurement of these. And I cut them with my trimmer, paper trimmer, in that size. I uh, scored them and I didn't put anything in the middle. I just put them in this elastic band here. And when I want to journal, I can journal like this, like this, like this. Obviously take it out because you ruin the cover. And also, if you're a bookbinder, you can always put a needle here, make it, uh, make it twine, I don't know, staple it. I'm not a bookbinder, I'm not very good at handiwork, that's why I didn't do it. So I just put it here. These are thick scrapbook pages and I think uh, it will take paint. 
so I will use this journal like this I didn't do anything yet I don't have enough time lots of ideas not enough time but again another idea also I have the mini version of this but inside there is my mini journal the only reason I bought this was <laughs> I like the puffy covers so I realized I bought passport size moleskin notebooks this is not an art journal this is a normal notebook the pages are very thin this is my play journal mini journal i do whatever i want it's very small however i share some videos with you on this uh, i gave it as an idea as well you can do mini journals practice your colors uh, if you're new it's easier to fill like one little page as big as your hand um, and uh, it gives a reward very quickly you do it half an hour an hour and it's done and uh, it looks nice uh, and I'm sure it will look very nice when I flip uh, when I finish it um, so this is on YouTube this uh, if you look for mini art journals these are not um, this is not and I have one more I had with um, distress oxides I am sure I have one more guys I don't know why I cannot find it oh, maybe it's here no ah here <laughs> so this is also on YouTube this and this are on YouTube this is all distress oxides so I really enjoy it I really enjoy using it uh, and the pages are thin sometimes I stick two pages together sometimes I even don't this is one page and uh, I just sold it gesso helps a lot it doesn't go through the paint doesn't go through that you can be sure of when you gesso it well um, otherwise this I think is two pages together makes it more stronger uh, but really instead of making my own I prefer to buy something like this easy and I can put it in my neat little nice uh, cover and this becomes my mini journal this is a passport size moleskin I will put the link down below they sell three of them in one pack so I have two more of this another idea then very recent thing that I didn't use is Jane Davenport journals this is an expensive luxury I know it uh, even more than Moleskine more than Dilusions I bought one to indul indulge myself I love the cover there's also other ones with a girl uh, she has these butterfly journals she calls them butterfly journal and she has the mixed media insert she has watercolor paper inserts for this I might try them as well they are like five pounds here I don't know how much they are they are not so expensive so instead of uh, using these you can also buy those inserts and put two here and work comfortably um, so this is watercolor paper 300 gsm if i'm not wrong let me see if it's written somewhere it's so beautiful guys that i almost don't want to use it because i will ruin it and i will definitely protect my pages putting pages here cardstock whatever um not to paint the cover because it's so beautiful but really thick i'm not going to stick two pages together I will try not to add dimension to keep it really neat, nice. Uh, I will try my best. I don't promise because I love uh, dimension, but I really love it. It lies flat. Still, most skin lies flat better, but the paper is definitely better. No competition there. So, new, you will see me using it for sure. And here I have an unusual option here. Uh, I wanted to show it if you haven't seen before uh, and maybe you will like it. I This is not my idea at all. Again, it's from Didi. I will put her link down below where she shows 
uh, what is this she explains a lot she works on it herself she does amazing things with this this is a magazine she calls playground art journal um, she cuts this is a magazine and you choose whatever magazine you want uh, I chose uh, this one from the shop that I found here artists illustrators doesn't matter I flick through and I like the colors some shapes inside the idea here is to play with it this is not my real journal obviously that I create nice layouts but I play with this myself and I enjoy it massively so I need to thank Didi to giving the, for giving the idea um, I cut it in half and I did it very badly but basically you can have it like this and <coughs> go through it with a craft knife slowly or you can take it to a stationery and they will cut it for you uh, with no money um, and how I work with this I will show you one page is and it's not here it's here this one I didn't do a lot but this for example is a normal page i would cover this with gesso the things that i don't want gesso 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 uh, the writings and everything but i would leave the artistic parts with some paint this and this and then i would paint out myself uh, with the colors that would coordinate with these so it also gives you some ideas about colors gives you inspiration about colors and you complete the page with those it's also good to practice your colors um, to help you uh, to get to learn which colors go with each other sometimes you discover things colors that you didn't imagine yourself so I did one here there was uh, obviously I covered all the rest of the page there was uh, there were ducks here so I wanted to leave the ducks I covered everything else with gesso I uh, continued with the green colors that I see here and I mixed uh, it all with my I used my hands uh, really messy this is just to play and I used my stickers rabons here just to complete it I did some splashes really simple but it gives me a lot of pressure pleasure to pay, play with all these paints and I, uh, I can go back to this do something else she says uh, don't consider any of them finished and that idea also um, gives me a lot of pleasure because normally I'm obsessed uh, when I start an art journal I want to finish it uh, on the same day same time I'm creating it so it releases me from that pressure that I put myself another page there was a life in color here already so I covered everything else I left some uh, parts here the green parts with graffiti uh, and I uh, colored everything else myself so I continued with the same color and here it looks like uh, I have a sentiment and I did draw the flowers myself I stamped with paint these uh, bricks uh, again to give you ideas I think I did one more or not I'm not so sure yes here there were some architectures here here this and then I colored everything else I did these roses type of myself I stamped these sentiments I drew I doodle these all black splashes are mine um, and this is not finished for me I, I will continue probably so it's uh, guys it's an idea to practice I would in this page I would leave this and these guys paint it all else and do something colorful and I have my images already here I have the brush this beautiful painting already so I would cover the rest I think you got the idea if you want me to show one I can let me know but it's really simple and it's your personal playground I will link down below Didi does amazing things on it I think it will be enough for you to see and um, choose something that you like uh, as an image go through the magazines uh, choose something look this is as well amazing and uh, 
cover the rest uh, and uh, you have something to play with yeah I have is I know scrapbook but I bought a scrapbook notebook this is 8 by 8 I think or 10 by 10 I'm not sure inches and you can use any other paper that you want freestyle obviously within the size of this page and then stick your pages on here this looks very very nice I bought black on purpose you can buy craft color or white according to what colors you want to use but I found black contrasting any color you use here very well and I think it makes it re look really nice when you look like through an album and you have your pages I think it will look really nice I saw this idea from Sherry Carroll from Simon Says Stamp she does journals and then she sticks them on to her uh, Dilutions Black Square Journal that's where I got the idea but again Dilutions Black Square Journal is very expensive so I went to my local store and I bought this it was like 10 pounds cheaper so if I'm going to use it to stick other pages I think that the cheaper and the better is fine because you're not using the actual pages this is not mixed media pages they are thin they are not normal notebook pages but they are not mixed media pages so works fine for me another idea if you like freestyle you want to you don't want to have the crease you want to have a separate page you can always stick them back into a notebook that's the idea so so guys that's all from me um, I hope you liked this type of video um, I hope it was helpful to you because this was a question I was getting a lot and I decided to answer it in more detail I was writing individually maybe it wasn't satisfactory and uh, when I started it's the process we all go through so I uh, empathize a lot there is another thing uh, I want to answer before I close some of you ask me about all oh, my pages crack they make noises when I open them they stick together yours doesn't how do you do it so uh, I have answers first of all my journals crack as well look and uh, they get uh, damaged in the spine this is normal this doesn't bother me first of all um, because art journalism is not perfection to me it's expressing yourself looking back what you created I love it when I go through my pages remember the days that I uh, create them look it makes that noise they don't actually stick together but they make that noise when you open so uh, regardless there is one thing that I do I use cold wax and I have two options here one is distress micro glaze and the other is this cold wax medium I use this brand but I'm sure there are a lot out there but I'm really happy with this actually if you ask me this or this I would say this because first it's bigger second it's softer to apply it's easier it glides better I use this not all over my page but when I have things that can stick together what is this texture paste they tend to stick together so what I do is I take a little bit with my hand I rub it on the texture paste like this and it's very highly unlikely they will stick and they don't show like after you finish it let it dry overnight this I would never close it before I let overnight I won't do anything on it I let it overnight and then leave it open then put my wax on it only the areas that can stick and then when I close I don't see them sticking together again I will show you one that is really a lot for example this one this is new so it's all texture paste what I did is I rubbed this 
all over this especially the part in the spine actually the, it would be a good idea to do this on a horizontal layout like I showed you but I don't know there are moments we don't think of things so I rub it like this all over on the texture paste and when I close that's why I don't have the sticking problem otherwise this for sure would stick even here the rest of it might be lucky I don't think so but here for sure it would stick for example there are stones here probably I would put wax on it as well they keep falling and falling I didn't stick them well um, other than that I think only texture paste and things that you see sticking randomly here as well this is all waxed you don't see it there is no way you will realize or anybody will realize there is wax on it it's just to protect them from sticking to each other i will link down below the products these products here this also works what they work as well uh, on another thing is to seal your distress inks these seal them um, you know they react with water but if you put this distress glaze or this on them they won't react with water anymore so you can put other mediums on it it's very useful for that a product I would definitely recommend to have in your hand in case your stick page, uh, your pages stick or you want to seal your distress they do the same thing there is no difference so I hope this was useful guys uh, and if you have any questions don't hesitate uh, to ask leave a comment down below or email me uh, I will try to answer them all um, I uh, thank you again for watching my videos asking me questions leaving me nice comments uh, I hope uh, they are all inspirational and helpful thanks a lot for watching and uh, see you next time bye